Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Happy Thursday, August 13th. Uh, the Dolphins wanted to bring a message through today. I'm not sure how many of you know this, but there is actually a Syrian Stargate opening over Egypt today. So energy from the Syrian star system is pouring onto the earth at this time. And Dolphin's original home was in the Sirius star system. So I just thought it was appropriate that they would want to come through today and tell us a little something. So here we are, Dolphin Consciousness. Hello, our beloved brothers and sisters on earth. Oh, we love you so much. We just want you to know that. We tell you all the time, but we're not sure how many of you actually hear it. And even more so, feel it in your hearts. We do love you so much. And we are so sad when we see you sad and down on these days when your planet is in such turmoil and such chaos. We want you to know that brighter days are ahead. They are coming, and we are here to help. We are, and the whales are, and so many other beings you have on your side. Please feel into that truth. Take a moment and feel into how supported you truly are. There now. Doesn't that feel better? We hope so. We wish to come to you today in a dance of energy. It is beautiful. There was a shower of sparks coming onto your planet from our home world, which used to exist in the star system Sirius. It is no more, which is why we came here to Earth, and we are happy to call Earth our home. I know some of you are not at this time so very happy to call earth your home because of things that are happening on your planet at this time but it is no matter do not let the outside events affect the way you feel oh no 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 darlings do not give away your power like that the way you feel is yours and no one can ever take that away from you it is locked deep inside your core your cells your truest inner being hold on to your happiness to your joy that which is yours your sovereign right your birthright not even just your human birthright your soul's birthright from the moment it was born and sprung from source itself get back in touch with that piece of you, that part of you, which is eternal and divine, and that will carry you through these difficult times you are seeing on your planet. And then before you know it, in the blink of an eye, you will have arrived at the time where the world on the outside finally reflects that beautiful garden you have grown on the inside. And then happiness and joy will be everywhere for all to see and experience inside and out. And we know you are saying, well, there are some people who absolutely will not move into the light. They are in chaos and darkness and will not budge. And we hear you. And we know that everyone eventually ends up in the light. We are of all the light. We all come from it, and we are all headed to it. And it may not look like it, and they may not do it in this lifetime, but everyone eventually returns to the light, the light that we are. So just know that if there are beings you see in your world around you, either in your own face-to-face -face encounters or on your news streams with the media, just keep in mind that we are all headed in the same direction and we will all get there in our own perfect time. And if it frustrates you or makes you angry, simply send those beings love 
And if you find that you cannot do that, then send yourself love. Because what you do for yourself, you do for the all. You do for the one. We are all part of the one. I am, you are. We all are. And when I say the I, I speak of the dolphin consciousness. For we are all part of one consciousness. And the dolphin consciousness is a flavor of that one consciousness. Just as the human consciousness is one flavor of the greater consciousness. So as you go forward today in your activities and your daily routines, out of whack they may be, to borrow a colloquialism from your language, keep in mind that there is always a greater plan. The universe knows what it's doing. And if things seem like they're spiraling out of control, just understand that things are spiraling. And that is the key because the spiral is one of the most sacred shapes in the entirety of the universe. And there is no out of or in control when it comes to a spiral because it is a perfectly divine shape and anything that is on that spiral is always in order. So we ask you to revisit that concept of things spiraling out of control and maybe come to think of things as spiraling into control. Although control, to be quite honest, is a figment of the imagination. We have no control over anything outside of ourselves. So, we may even break it down further. Maybe choose not to see things as spiraling out of control, but then if you choose to that, take that action, and you cannot choose to see things spiraling into control, how are you to view them then, you ask? What is the in-between point? Ah, and that is called the zero point. The zero point is that one point of creation, that breath between breaths, that place of infinite potential. And on the spiral, there are infinite points of infinite potential. There are infinite zero points. So maybe when things are spiraling in a fashion that we won't name because there are no human words for it, Possibly think of things as spiraling in zero point. So things are spiraling and gearing up in the greatest creation point. The spiral is a point of creation. It starts out and goes up and up and up and goes wider and it can go on forever. And that energy is creation energy. So think of your lives as spiraling into creation with infinite potential backed behind it. And yes, we are echoing the sentiments of our dear friends, the Phoenix Collective. They are not from the Syrian star system, but that does not matter. We are all one. And we know of them even if we were not neighbors in that star system. We have traveled far and wide throughout the universe, and we have become aware of many, many beings, some wonderful, some still learning that they are of the light, and that is all okay because humanity reflects those gradients of light back. So we leave you today with these words of love and hope and support because you are our greatest dream. We support you in all of your endeavors. And if ever you need support and assistance, just call out to your brothers and sisters, the Dolphin Collective. We love you dearly. Wanted to just stop back in after I channeled from the dolphins and thank you for stopping by 
and to let you know that was really a powerful message. I got a little teary toward the end when they were telling us how much they love us because feeling that immense love come through is quite something, I'll tell you that. Um, so hopefully I sound okay. Um, I got a new microphone. So I didn't have one before actually. So to say I got a new microphone is I got a microphone for these channeled messages in the hopes that it would make me sound more professional for you guys. Um, just wanted to send a quick shout out to let you know I am working on my online course. So I haven't been posting a whole lot here on YouTube. It is going to be an animal communication course for children. It will be available on Zoom, and as soon as I have all of the information complete, it's taking a while to get it all together, um, I will throw a link down there. I'll probably make a video for it and just an announcement to give you guys the heads up that it's out there and it's available. So um, other than that, I hope that you enjoy this Syrian Stargate Day and have a beautiful weekend. I'll talk to you next week. Take care and many blessings.